To manage Quick Steps, click on the small arrow on the bottom right of the Quick Steps panel. When you use the default Quick Steps for the first time, you'll be prompted to configure them. For example, if you wanted a Quick Step to move messages to a certain folder, you must specify the folder before you can use the Quick Step. That's all we'll be doing next. So the first one, the Move To, I'll just click Edit and call this Archive. We'll choose to move the emails to the Archive folder that we've created. And because it's archived, I'll want it marked as red. And I'll choose to clear all categories and clear all flags. Here I can choose a shortcut key for this action, but I'll leave that alone for now. And then click Save. Now instead of editing the others, I'll delete the ones that I don't believe I'll use at this time and create a new custom quick step by clicking New, then Custom. And this one I'll name Action Urgent. I'll select another icon for this. And since it's urgent, I'll use the exclamation mark. So here I'd want to move it to the action folder I created. And I want to put a flag on it for today. And I also want to assign a category which is urgent. And then click Finish. And then I'll do one more, which I'll call Action when possible. Here I'll select a flag as the icon. I'll move it to the Action folder. Add a flag for this week. Assign a category which is when possible. And then just one more action waiting for response. I'll select the information icon. Again, move it to the action folder. Flag the message, but I won't assign it a date. I'll choose a category, which is when response arrives. Now I'll just create one more and I'll be done. I'll name this one read and I'll choose a book icon. I'll choose an action, moving it to the read folder. Okay, I'm done with my priority quick steps. I can modify the ones that are uh, uh, available to me. But for now, I'll close this up. But before I do that, I'd like to reorder them so that the actions I use more often are at the top. So now you can see that I have urgent and red, which are the ones that I use most often, next to each other. So it'll be very quick, very easy for me to go back and forth between these. So what I'll do now is go through my inbox and use the quick steps that I've created. A good rule of thumb is to respond immediately to any email that would take two minutes or less. Here I have an email from Hunter regarding an updated marketing brochure. He's informing me that I'll get an email from Jeff and that I have to select one of the preferred color palettes. So this email requires me to action. However, I can't do it right away. So I'll just click action waiting for response. Here I have an email from Trudy and she's letting me know that I'll need to prepare for a client presentation at the end of next week. So I'll just click my quick step action when possible. Next I have an email from a client who's requesting that we move the deadline up which might present a problem, so this one I'll need to action urgently. And then I'll just go through my inbox and I'll use the quick steps to just decide whether I'm going to read it, archive it, or action it. It's that simple. If you use the quick steps, you should pretty quickly be able to empty your inbox. When you've done that, you should go directly to your action folder. In this folder, I recommend that you group by category. This will allow you to easily view your messages by level of urgency.